Uh, uh, Maureen Dennis is here, parenting expert, uh, 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 Earth Day expert. This is this stuff you do at your house? It is actually. This yeah, is I know all it stuff is. we've adopted. Yeah. yeah, and you know, some of it you don't have to do everything immediately. No, no. Take your time and get into it and get the family involved. And I know that's key, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And one of the things that's really fun is you know, you, you People are getting more used to going to markets and shopping local. Uh, and bringing their own bags. And bringing their own bags. Believe yeah, exactly. Me, so you can get I have some the fun. the world's largest collection of recyclable bags. <laughs> so <bags>. do I. So <laughs> do I. And Earth Day has their own that you can buy on their website as well. Um, and getting ones for the kids is really fun too. So having their own bag. And this not only gets them shopping local and more aware of their you know, food options, but it also is a really great way to get them to actually eat their food. Because if they've been involved in the process of choosing Good it, point. then they actually want to eat it, Good right? Point. And by the way, I mean, everybody takes their bags to the grocery shopping. Yeah. There's other shopping you can take your bags to. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you want to for if shoes. You can get the, if you can remember to put them in the car or take them with you when you're walking, that's the first, that's the hardest part, it's, right? And it's I like, you it's, know what it's like? Uh, I likened it to um, um, when the seatbelt law came in. Yeah. Right? Like that's I difficult to do, but yeah. you're not used to doing it. I wasn't it. originally a seatbelt wearing guy. Right? Really? Until it was forced on me and it yeah. took me a long time. Yeah. But yeah. It's well like another one the bags. another one is the um, produce bags. So you know when you go and oh, you buy yeah. your produce, yeah. these are reusable produce bags. So instead of using the plastic bags that you get for your fruits and veggies there, mm -hmm. um, you can bring these with you yes. and you reuse them. So you just and pop you can them tell in like what's this. in the bag. Okay, put it yeah. in, put it in. Look. Maureen, that's an apple. That is. Right, right. Oh, we're mixing our wait, apples wait, and here oranges. It goes. Uh, that one's an orange. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell. And you can store them in the fridge like that too, so yeah. they're really easy. Is that easy. right? Wash yeah, you don't even have yeah, to. Yeah, you're not. Empty them or anything, no, and then they're and then not rolling the kids. around in the exactly, fridge. Exactly, exactly. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> another one is water. So we waste a ton of water. And what do you got there? This is what I use to time my shower. So I actually I get in there. It's probably the only place that not everybody in the house follows me to. So <laughs> I get in there. It's my only peace and quiet time. So I tend to spend a lot of time in the shower. So what have you limited yourself to? So at 10 minutes, it's like, okay, you got to start thinking about getting out of here. 10 right? minutes is probably long enough. That's a, that's a long enough shower. Um, but it, you can go by really, really quickly. So, you know, most people have got a timer. It comes on your iPhone, comes on your um, device, so what it's really you, yeah. easy to remind yourself that way. And good if you for can the rig kids, it up so right? it would shut the water off for you. <laughs> I had an uncle that did that. He used to shut. He used to time the water and shut and, off the and water. When you were on done, you. he would come yeah, in and yeah. shut it. Yeah, it wasn't my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> to go and do. Another great thing is starting your own garden in the backyard. A lot right? of people are doing it. A lot of people. Even if we it's did it last herbs summer. And stuff. Yeah, absolutely. If you have a little uh, deck and even an apartment, you can get a little planter box. Yeah. Plant some herbs. Think about it. You're out there putting uh, putting uh, nice uh, flowers and stuff out on the deck, yep. right in their pots. Yeah. You could you could grow stuff. Oh, and it's so nice to be able to. You can get the one tomato plant. I love sending the kids out in the summer and saying, "Hey, go pick some tomatoes for dinner." Like, there's nothing yeah. better than that. And they go yeah. out to the garden and they've grown it and they've seen it. Yeah. And again, they want to eat it. And the fresh herbs and stuff you can grow for your barbecuing season. Oh stuff. yeah, it's and just fantastic. picking them and throwing them in and your salads and everything. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. So. Um, there's, you know, and if you're out in the backyard and you're using a barbecue, these are actually palm leaves that are completely biodegradable instead of using paper plates. And same thing, this is wooden cutlery. Yeah, the thing about paper plates and all that sort of thing is, uh, yes, you're taking them recycling after, but you're still using up paper plates as you go. Exactly, exactly. So using, you know, looking at the paper products in your house is a big deal, right? So you've also got the bathroom. And so, you know, the cashmere is a great brand, luxury product. But again, making sure that you look for the logo on That's the FSC, the one, eh? right? So you're just you're just shifting your choice within the store of what you're going to buy. Same great quality product. Yep. It doesn't cost any more. Um, but you're just making that responsible choice. And sometimes you're just so used to going in and buying what you normally buy that you don't actually look at what your options are. Maureen, let me ask you this. I was, uh, I was watching the budget coverage, mm -hmm. and uh, it struck me as kind of odd because within a portion of that budget coverage that I was watching, they were talking about the fact that Canadians don't care about the environment anymore. We're over that. Did you see any of that? <laughs> How can we be over that? I know, but that's what yeah. some of the experts were saying. 
when they were talking about the money allocated for this, that, and the other green projects and what yep. have you, yep. they were kind of indicating uh, that, you know, Canadians don't care about as much the environment as we people, used to. I think people can make greener choices than they are. Like, we say we want it more than we actually make the actions to do it. Yeah. So I think all of these ideas are simple, easy things that I'm a busy mom with four kids. If I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. Listen, it's conscious decision that you make. And yeah. you know, once you get into that, that, that habit of doing things. It's like the shopping bags, you yeah. know? Once you get in that habit, why would you stop doing yeah, it? Yeah. Why would you stop caring about the environment? We just got started looking after it. Yeah, yeah, we're not I don't done. know why the politicians <laughs> are saying that or the experts who are examining what the politicians well, are saying. Well, they should talk to the kids because the kids are the ones who are reminding us on a constant basis, you know, exactly. we can do better. Maureen, thank you. Thank you so much, Kurt. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Good to see you. Uh, listen, we're going to take a break. Uh, pressed Urban Grill is here in the kitchen. They're going to be pressing some uh, some sandwiches. Jeff Hopper is going to be in the kitchen with him right after this break. We'll be right back. It's 9.35.